the U.S. Navy knew it was unlikely that they would find any of these sailors alive. And once dive teams were able to get into the flooded parts of the ship, they confirmed that indeed seven crew members of the USS Fitzgerald have died. Here's what we know about the collision. It was the middle of the night off the coast of Japan, and most of the sailors aboard the Fitzgerald were asleep. The collision with the ACX Crystal cargo ship took most of the crew by surprise. We do have watch teams that are uh, awake uh, throughout the night, but a significant part of the crew was sleeping. Uh, and, and as I said before, two compartments that house 116 of the crew uh, are in those uh, compartments. Uh, and it was a significant impact to the side of the ship. Uh, and you can't see most of the damage. The damage is mostly underneath the water line, and it's a large gash um, in a, uh, near the keel of the ship. And so the water flow uh, was tremendous. Water flooded into the quarters where the sailors were sleeping. The crew fought to evacuate the flooded areas and seal them off to prevent the ship from sinking. The captain's quarters where the ship's commander was asleep was also hit and flooded. He was injured and taken by helicopter to a hospital in Japan. Truly a uh, tragic event, Jim. What do we know so far about the cause of the collision? They haven't yet been able to determine exactly what happened out there. Uh, here's uh, the U.S. Navy report. There's some confusion about this. The U.S. Navy initially reported the crash occurred at about 2.30 a.m., about 30 minutes after the crystal made an unexpected turn. The company operating the ship denies this, saying in a statement to the Wall Street Journal that the crash occurred an hour earlier at about 1.30 a.m., and the ship only turned after the collision. The Navy now says the crash happened at 2.02, 28 minutes earlier than in their previous statement. They have not provided an explanation for this discrepancies. The Navy ship's communication equipment was damaged in the collision, which may have complicated the search and rescue operations. The investigation will look at which ship had the right of way and how a state-of-the-art U.S. warship with collision avoidance systems could have not been aware of this massive ship traveling in a crowded sea lane. The Fitzgerald is now back in port. Crew members are pumping water out of the hull. It will be months, Guan, before this ship is seaworthy again. For a vessel that size, is highly unusual for that to be collided with a um, commercial very, very, ship at that part of the world. 400 ships a day travel through this part of the sea, and in the last five years, there's only been about three collisions, none as serious as this. Very Thank rare. Thank you for that uh, detailed report, Jim.